How's business? E L Q business. Um, Ned saved the company, wrecked his marriage while doing it. Um, Lois is back in Brooklyn raising their child, but aside from that, everything's just hunky dory. And Jax was behind this, right? <clears throat> yeah. What do you really know about him? He's a big tipper. Oh, that's great, Mike. Thanks for being so helpful. So you want to know more? I don't like him. He's, a, he's sloppy. Like every other rich kid, he leaves things behind. But I tell you what, he doesn't realize things are going to come back to haunt him. He's successful and he's well-liked. Most important, he's legitimate. Haven't you heard? So am I. It's all right. Mac knows something. Well, even if he does, would he tell you? He hates Jax more than he does me. Besides, he can't hate me anymore because Robin forbid him, so we kind of just coexist. But he's going to like me a little more once I uh, get rid of Jax. What are you going to do? Like I said, I'm going to take him down. Anybody who gets in my way sooner or later goes away. And Jack's boy ain't no different. But he's married to Brenda. So. You have a minute for a fellow board member? If you took a chance, you'd be home. It's always best to call first. Sorry about that. What can I do for you, Ned? Make peace. Make peace? With whom? I heard about your recent visit with Jax. You know, that sort of thing is bad for business. And we've been around this block before, Ned. I'm not asking you to sell your stock or resign your seat on the board. I'm glad to hear that. I came here to see if the differences between you and Jax can be resolved. And obviously, I need to know what the problem is. You're on a, a fishing expedition. Sorry, Ned. It's none of your business. Excuse me. Well, actually, being CEO makes it my business. You're going to have to do better than that there, Ned. The company is bound to suffer when there's dissension among board members. So, you, you just want us to be part of one... There you go. Thank you. Big, happy family, right? How does Jaxie feel about that? Well, I haven't talked to him yet. Hmm. He's somewhat busy. Planning his wedding. Did you know about that? Now, apparently, he is uh, throwing a huge bash, so... He and Brenda can renew their vows for a few hundred of their closest friends. Your mum will be ecstatic when she hears about the wedding. <laughs> you sure about that? I Means she'll have to wear a dress. You know how she feels about that. You know how proud we are of you, don't you, son? That you're moving on with your life and leaving the past where it belongs. In the past. Yeah, well, sometimes it follows you. Only if you let it. Don't. That's the best advice I'll ever give you. Bye, right, son. Bye, Dad. I won't take any more of your time. I just want to make sure that you understand my concerns. Oh, I, I understand. Uh, you've decided that I'm the lesser of two evils. You think Jax is a loose cannon, and uh, you want him off the EOQ board. You want me to take care of for you so you can have your hands clean. I mean, how am I doing there, Ned? You're doing great. Thanks. You see, I don't trust Jax, and it kills me to see Brenda being taken in by him. She confuses his amorality with business acumen. And of course, he surrounds her with this illusion of security in order to keep her out of touch with reality. But you know what? Brenda is beside the point. Suffice it to say, if something happened to force Jax off the board, say, a skeleton coming to light, I wouldn't lose any sleep over it. Thanks for hearing me out.
Ned, I can't let you leave here without me asking about Lois. I assume uh, Brooklyn hasn't made an appearance. I hear you and uh, Jax don't get along. I'm not his biggest fan. What, you knew him from Australia? Suffice it to say that the guy is bad news. I'll tell you something, Sonny. If Jax were involved with Robin, I'd rip out his heart and shove it down his throat. I've been avoiding his calls all day. Sonny, why? Something tells me I'm not gonna like what he has to say. You are such a pessimist. Well, I gotta go. Mm. on stage right now and Stand I'm about to go on my ready television to go. and I'm scared. Look, look, calm down. You'll be great. Yeah? Yeah. What are you wearing? Well, I'm actually wearing something really fabulous, which should help me a lot, but it's not. I'm about to go in front of millions of people and I think I'm going to throw up. So, uh, what do you hear from Robin? Probably the same stuff she's writing you. Wow, she sounds happy, you know. I can't ignore the void she left around here. Come on, Sonny. You and I both know that Robin is not the reason that you've been leaving messages for me all over town. All right, fair enough. I'll get to the point. I want to know everything you know about Jax. I have nothing to say. About your old pal Jax, anyway? He's no pal of mine. You told me once he was bad news. Care to expand on that? No. It's personal, isn't it? He did something to you, something you haven't been able to forgive him for. But you can level with me here, Mac. Because, come on, sooner or later, I'm gonna find out anyway. You can speculate all you like. I'm not telling. Why not? Why do you want to know so bad? Reasons. Personal? And business. He helped run my friend Lois out of town. He also tried to dismantle and take over a company I have stock in. And they still let him on the board. Now, why? Blackmail? Not his style. It's too indirect. All right, all right. I'm reading you, Mac. That's cool, including what you're not saying. My instincts are right about this guy, aren't they? You're not wrong. Finally, you and I have something in common besides Robin. A common enemy. You're protecting him. And I gotta ask myself why. Let me make one thing perfectly clear. I am not protecting that dirt bag. And if I refuse to discuss him, maybe it's because put a baseball bat upside his head next time I see him. Wow. If I were a betting man, I'd say this fight dates way back. Australia, maybe? There's bad blood between us, Sonny. Very bad blood. But if you want a piece of Jax, you're on your own. Good luck. Thanks for the help. Drinks on me. Thanks. This is about business, you know? Business. It's like a it's like a big monopoly game, and anyone can quit anytime they want. Who told you that? Your husband? EOQ represents life for the court of mains. It has a certain value for me as well. If if Jax wins, then none of us is gonna be able to walk away from the table with piles of pink money to play with. I know, Lois. Something happened today. Don't to you dare try and act like I had something to do with this. Ned and Lois are so important to me, and you know that I would never do anything to hurt them. 
But they are hurting because of your husband. No, they are hurting because ELQ just happens to be going under, and my husband happens to be in the business of hostile takeovers. I will not let my heart get broken again because of business. And I will not lose another person by getting involved in something that has nothing to do with me. I told you that I learned my lesson. The wrong one. Because what happened between us wasn't about loyalty, it was about lies. The lies that I told you and the lies you told yourself. That I wasn't in business when you knew damn well that I was. And by wearing a wire, somehow that was supposed to, what, make me tell the truth and get me out for good? Or whatever justification you used, I don't know, that allowed you to do what you did. What I'm saying to you is one thing, that's all. You lied to yourself, Brenda. You did it then, and you're doing it now. You have the same look in your eye, even when I'm not the man you're lying for. I did not ask for your opinion on this. I am happy. I'm happily married. My husband is loyal to me. I am loyal to him, and he would never do anything purposely to hurt me. So, if you'll excuse me, I'm just going to go home to my husband. Lois made a decision. It's no one's fault. It just happened. It must be a wonderful world you live in, Brenda. A world without responsibilities. Day-to-day -day existence must be easier to skate through than it is for us down here. No. It's just a world without blame. There's a difference. You keep telling yourself that. You actually might believe it one day. 